So this is the video for station two for Tuesday, 427. The station will be over density. You need to click here for the practice assignment and make your own copy. It will do this automatically if you click make a copy. Now once you have it open, you will see you do need a calculator. You can use your phone or you can open up a tab and use one from the internet. Um, you'll also use your um, formula chart, same place you got your periodic table. The very first page has our formula and we're going to be doing density so we're going to divide mass and volume to calculate and compare different densities of different substances. So in the activity here you have a bunch of numbers and a bunch of identities. Here you have a table with certain liquids and their densities labeled. Okay. This activity is going to assess our knowledge and ability to calculate density and identify an unknown substance. So what we're going to do for liquid one is we're going to divide our mass of 20 grams over the volume of 25 milliliters to calculate the density and then calculate the identity by referencing this table. Okay, so you're going to open up a calculator and divide 20 over 25. So I simply opened a Google calculator and another window and when you divide you enter the top number first so our mass was 20 divided by 25 milliliters gives us a density of 0.8 grams per milliliter what is the unit what are the units yes grams per milliliter okay so 0.8 grams per milliliter right here and then we're going to compare that density to our table Cairo syrup has a density of 1.33, and we're looking for a substance with a density of 0.8. That would be rubbing alcohol. Okay, and then what you find here, once you find the correct density and the correct identity, is you have a combination of emojis. So we have a laughy face and a hard eyes or star eyes. So I come to my legend on slide two, and I find that combination. Um, interesting. So the correct number for the first one is the number seven. So I go to my activity sheet to reflect on this. The density was 0.8 and the identity was rubbing alcohol. And the very first number for that was a smiley face and a star eyes, which is here. So the first number is seven. Okay, and you'll continue on calculating the different densities and the identities to determine the rest of the code. In your extension, it is more practice. Um, and you'll identify what sample they're looking for according to the scenario by completing this table. And then your reflection is simply, what is the formula for calculating the density of a substance? What two key pieces of information are required in order to calculate density? So you're going to need mass and volume. And once you have the mass and volume, you will divide them and that will give you the density of the substance. And we use that to create these kinds of tables to compare different densities of different substances and then we use them to identify different substances. Some ele elements have specific densities. If you learned from the last activity, your metals typically have a high density, meaning they sink, and your nonmetals typically have a low density, meaning they float. Those are just some more of the physical properties that we illustrate on the periodic table and that we use in chemistry when combining and creating basically any kind of anything with um, chemical compounds and things of that nature. So if you do need assistance with this, please get on Zoom. Um, you will need a calculator for sure, but it is as simple as dividing the mass over the volume and interpreting the table with the listed densities to identify the element. If you need help with the lock, please just get on Zoom or email us and let us know.